Hey everybody out there, this is Chris Nicholson. Um, still working on this project, still working on this piano. I have been um, doing this for, golly, I think probably three months now. Um, I've been working on this project for a while. I've been non-stop, basically non-stop. I haven't even practiced the piano that much. And um, I already did a couple concerts. Um, because of all this chemicals, I'm breaking out. So I'm gonna have to re-cleanse my face all over again. Uh, but yeah, I um, non-stop at it. I just li but you know what? This is my form of therapy. This is my form of therapy, so I don't ever get the press or, or you know, basically just trying to ther therapy myself. But let me show you this right over here. Here's the piano. It's high polish, everybody. I was gonna leave it as a satin, but I'm like, okay, let me do this. Let me. Let me put it as a high polish. And so that's exactly what I did. The lid's off. And I'll show you the reason why the lid is off. Because I was I was really, really not happy with the job that I did with the lid. Now you see those um you see those red spots on, on the side of the rims? Those were gonna be those are actually just the uh bumpers right there. And um it supports the lid, but I think I might change the red into black felt. It might look a lot better if I just change it to black felt. The red's okay, but it kind of doesn't look right around the rim. I mean, except for the big ones. The big ones could be red, and the little ones on the side could be all black. So that's no problem. I'm going to change that to black felt. Um, probably, you know, I want to get some more money. But here's the lid right here, and it's drying. And it looks, you see it's, it's drying, as you can see it's gleaming, it's drying, I have to put a couple more coats on it. Um, it looks a hundred times better than what it, looked, what it looked like before. Before there was wavy spots, there was, um, it just looked terrible. I mean, I, I didn't like it, so I took the whole thing apart. And I, um, I wet sanded the hell out of it. And, oh yeah, it looks, it looks Ten times better than, than what it looked like before, but I um, I wet sanded it. You guys can't see because it it's kind of blurry. I, I wet sanded it and I um, and just to, just took my time on it. <laughs> Tats tacos LGB night. I, we are going with. We're, oh, I know Skip. I, I ran out of money, Skip. <laughs> I ran out of money. I, I, I want to finish this project. I know I, I, I would go with you guys, but um, I can't have you guys treat me all the time. So I, I kind of ran out of money. I ran out of everybody. I ran out of money doing this whole piano project. But I, I promise you, skip next time. Next time, we'll, we'll, I'll take a rain check on it. Um, yeah. So I, I took the lid apart. I wet sanded the whole damn thing, front and back. I was um, piano costing you too much. Yeah. This. A lot of people's gonna ask me how much did this piano cost me, and you're gonna you're this piano already cost me not including the keyboard probably around two thousand dollars, two grand. I spent on this piano that I made myself. It costs. It does cost, you know. And I tell you this, it's priceless. For me to make some, for me to build something like this, I'm sorry, it's priceless. It is just priceless. And I was doing, I, I did this when I was a kid. I did this when I was a kid and um, it was just nothing but cardboard, but I added wood parts to this one. And this is phenomenal. Yeah, I spent over, probably over $2,000. The keyboard itself, the Korg MicroStation, which I'm gonna show you guys. The keyboard itself alone was like around four hundred dollars. Yeah, the Korg MicroStation is like around four hundred dollars, like probably you know plus tax and everything, but it works perfectly. Hard for me to do it one-handed. But um, I also had to take this off because I had to put the lid prop in the right spot. I had to um, I had to glaze up the insides a little bit more. Um, it looks really good. It looks really really good. Um, I'm gonna take the lid prop off again and put 
you know, just put the right veneers on that little piece so it doesn't look like it's off. Or spray it black. I might just spray it black. But, um, yeah, this is it. I don't know. The, the red looks good here, but, you know, I'm thinking about changing that color of the felt to black. Because, um, it kind of... I mean, it doesn't look bad. The red felt does not look bad at all. I mean, what, what, do, you, what do you guys think about the red felt on, on the rim? I mean, inside the piano, it looks good. Like, say, for instance, around... I can show you. Say, for instance, around here and around here, it looks good. Because um, by the keys, it accents that. On the music desk, it looks good. See, there's more red felt over there. Um, but around the rim, it, it kind of looks okay. I mean, I'm getting used to it now. <laughs> It kind of looks really, really good. Um, that might be that might be my signature. Is that the red red felt around the rim? You know, of most parts of the rim and everything. So this is drying. Uh, it's going to take probably like around four more coats, which is no problem. And that's it. So I'm going to get right back to work, everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love each and every one of you. Do me a favor, click like, subscribe, follow me on everything. Go to my website, www.chrisnicholson.com, and we will be speaking to each other again. All right? Mwah. Bye.